All right, guys, welcome to uh, today's training. We're going to be kicking off a high level discussion about email marketing. So um, I've used email marketing for many years to not only attract business, but to recruit agents to our team, to brand ourselves amongst other agents, amongst our clients as the expert person to go to and, you know, really just build a brand. Um, it's funny because I've been doing this for so long now, probably at least five plus years of just email content, social media and stuff. And it's just become kind of part of who I am and what I do in my business. But you don't really realize the effects overnight. And it's something where that's the first thing I want to say is when you're building your brand, when you're using email marketing, when you're using social media, um, essentially what you're doing is you are building your reputation. Um, a lot of times we think, oh, I don't want to get in front of the camera. I'm not a social media person. I'm not a, a video person or whatever. But uh, the big takeaway, guys, is that your personal brand, everybody has a personal brand, whether you know it or not. That's your reputation. It's how people perceive you, how people see you in the world, how people see you in your community. And all of that can be influenced by what you put out there. Um, so we're going to talk about email marketing today, specifically on how to do effective email marketing, but this is to just you building your brand in general, uh, whether you're posted on social media, whether it's how you put yourself out there when you meet people, it, it's all the same thing. It's all interconnected. It's all goes to the big picture of building your personal brand. Um, we had a golf, that golf tournament that we did a few weeks back that we sponsored a booth. And it's funny because there's a, a lot of uh, big hitters, big players in our industry, you know, big producers, they're out there participating in those events, they're playing golf and they came up to our booth. And it's funny, a lot of these guys, I don't even recognize them because obviously people, there's so many agents out there, people look different, people are older now. But a lot of these guys were coming up to me saying, hey, what's up Enrique? And I've never even met these people in person. Um, I had a guy, uh, Doug Goss, who was the president of uh, Santa Clara County Association of Realtors, he came up to me and he's like, what's up, Enrique? How you doing? I follow all your stuff you do. Awesome job on your content. I get your emails all the time. You know, I see you on social media, man, like really good job with your marketing, like keep doing what you're doing. You're a leader in our industry and stuff like that. And I'm like, I know who Doug Goss is because I've seen him like, you know, out there. I've seen some of his listings, stuff like that. I know he's been in the industry for many, many years, but I've never actually met this guy right in person. So it's just a testament that as you put yourself out, out there and you're consistent with that, you are building a reputation amongst people um, that in some way, shape or form is going to pay you back down the line. Whether it's now I have credibility with this guy. So can you, I guarantee you, like if I had a buyer and Doug had a listing because Doug has been seeing me for years on my email marketing, all that stuff. And I would have hit him up. Hey, what's up, Doug? It's Enrique. Oh, yeah, I know who you are, man. Hey, dude, we got this buyer. What's it going to take? What do we got to do? That little piece right there will be the differentiator between me and any other agent out there, right? That'll help me get that little competitive edge, competitive advantage to help get that buyer in contract. Exactly what we need to do, right? And it all starts with just being consistent in your marketing and putting it out there. Now, I want you to think of that in terms of clients, right? Because right now it's twofold, right? Like if you're representing a buyer and you've been building your brand amongst the real estate community, you now have a competitive advantage for your buyer to get them in contract. The same thing as if you are um, sending email marketing to all your clients, right? Every lead that you get, you put them in your email database, every friend, every family member, all these different things. And someone's been getting your emails month after month after month, and you've been showing credibility and showing value when it's time to sit down with them to do business with them, your credibility is going to be so high because you've essentially already built trust with them over time, right? So when they interview you for the listing and they interview some other agent that they just never heard of or they've never seen, you already have an edge on that agent because they've been seeing you for so long, right? So um, with email marketing, it's something that you need to understand. This is the big picture, right? And that's why this is a higher level conversation. This isn't like how to go close your first deal. This is how to create a business that keeps feeding you opportunity over time and for the long run, right? So I always like to start off our trainings with mindset 
because I really want you guys to wrap your mindset around why this stuff is important. Because if you don't think something's important, then you're not going to pay attention. When I go over this stuff, you're going to be like, yeah, 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 whatever, right? It's going to just be another training, right? Another training that Enrique did. But when you understand why it's important and how it can impact your business and how it can take your business from maybe doing 10 to 20 deals to you doing now 20 to 30, 30 to 40, whatever it might be, or just opening up more doors for you or helping you convert more clients at a higher level, you can now start to do the math and say, hey, because of this, it's making me X more dollars or it's creating a sustainable business. And the goal is that you do this for so long that you get to a point where you got referrals coming in left and right, left and right, left and right. Um, I just got two referrals yesterday for two listings yesterday, right? And it's just because I'm, I'm not calling these people. I'm just consistently putting stuff out. I'm always putting stuff out and then people call me when they're ready. Jay, what you got? Oh, Enrique, Enrique, can you spend just 30 seconds? Because on this, on this training, we have, we have some loan officers, right? So just spend 30 seconds on the advantage for someone, because you talk a lot about how it benefits a real estate agent, but can you just give us 30 seconds of how it benefits an LO? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. So it's the same exact concept, right? If you're putting out, so LOs, you got to think, if you're a loan officer, what do you want? You want more clients, right? Real you want either agent. clients to come to you directly or you want real estate agents to bring you clients, right? Both of them. So there's two sides to it, right? It's going to serve two purposes. It's going to, you're going to put every single client that you know, or every single lead that you have that comes across your, your way into this database. And then you're also going to put every single realtor that you're trying to build a relationship with in this database well because as you put content out there you're building credibility with both sides and who do realtors want to send their business to put that in the chat if you're a realtor and you want to send your business to a loan officer how would you describe the loan officer that you would want to send your business to what would be some of the things that describe who you want to send your business to when it comes to a loan officer Mauricio wrote knowledgeable. Absolutely. Like if I'm going to hand my clients, right? Like I'm a realtor. I got this client. They're hot. I know I have a lot of influence on this client. I'm going to be able to refer them over to a lender to do the loan. Who, who would I want to send them to? Right. I'd want to send them to the people who are knowledgeable, which is what Mauricio wrote. Someone who is responsive, resourceful, someone who is dependable and responds, someone who is known um, and putting out content, someone who's likable. Right. Someone who you can trust. All of that, every single thing that you wrote there in those chat, it all sums down to someone who you can trust. Like I can trust you with my client that you're going to take care of them right? How do you build trust with someone? Is trust built overnight? Is trust built on a first interaction? No, trust is built over time, right? The same thing with your clients. Your clients don't know you. They're going to build trust with you over time through your interactions with them and how you treat them and how you show up and all that good stuff. The same thing with realtors and loan officers. You're going to build those business relationships and build that trust over time through how someone shows up in the relationship, how they put themselves out there, what kind of content are they the go-to resource? Are they consistent? If I see someone who's always out there, always in, in the business, always putting out stuff, I know they're consistent. And I know that them being consistent, they're going to be consistent with my client. So all you loan officers right there, I can tell you this right now, everyone, everyone on this, on this chat, the biggest mistake that I made in my career almost 20 years ago was not understanding this in the beginning. That's the biggest mistake that I made is not understanding the power of content and nurturing your database and building trust with people and all that stuff. My business was built, my name Jason's was built off That's sheer hustle. Hustle. You know? They walk that way. Phones, Thank you. Right? <laughs>
pick up the phones, grind, make calls, cold call, boom, boom, boom. Like make shit happen. Like just hustle, 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 hustle. And we close a lot of business that way. But imagine if at the same time we were hustling, because all you guys are hustling, we were adding in this, we had it in our mind that we have to build our database. We have to nurture these clients. We have to build trust with them. We have to continue to stay in front of them. We have to continue to use email or video content or whatever while we are hustling. Because you put those two together, you got to hustle. Hustle is like, it's a given. You got to hustle in this business, but you also got to have a strategy of how you're going to service these clients long-term and build that trust over time. So that, if I can go back in time, that's probably the number one thing I would change in what I did in my business is I would have understood the concept of database and nurturing them and, and build using that content to create uh, credibility amongst them. Okay. So do I have your attention now on why it's important to do this stuff, right? Because that's the big thing, right? You got to understand why it's important. Now let's talk about the formula for how now, because of this, we only have an hour here, right? This, this could be a three hour class, right? But I'm gonna give you the, the outline, the foundation. I'm gonna give you the bullet points of what needs to happen. And it's up to you guys to go a little bit deeper, right? Because it's not rocket science. Once you know like, all right, I gotta do this, gotta do that, gotta do that. You, also, you guys also have to be resourceful as well, right? And if we gotta do another training, we'll do another training. But the whole key concept is, okay, I gotta do this. It's not that hard to figure out. Right. Like you can YouTube anything nowadays. Right. Like it's it's out there. So the other thing that's really important is that when you go to these trainings and these classes and you say, OK, that's great. That's great, Enrique. You have to take action. Right. And you have to put deadlines in place and accountability and stuff like that so that you actually execute this stuff. Otherwise, if this would just be a great inspirational talk that you heard over and over and over. Right. Yep. And that's that's the big mistake that people made. Uh, the biggest mistake and, and the biggest challenge is going from idea, great idea, to actually implementing the idea. The, the, the smaller you can close that gap, the time frame that it takes from you to get a good idea and you to actually execute it, the smaller you can close that gap, the faster your business is going to grow. Let me say that again. You got a great idea and you got the time it takes to actually make that idea happen. The shorter that you can make that time frame, the faster your business will grow. Because if you get a great idea today and you know it's crucial to your business, but you don't try this till next year, or you actually don't take it serious till next year, you miss that whole half a year when you could have already started making some traction and making shit happen with this, right? So execution is key, right? You can have all the ideas in the world, but if you don't execute any of them, it's just another idea. Um, okay, so let's talk about a couple of things. And I'm gonna show you some examples examples of what I think is uh, a good, effective email marketing and also what I've learned over time. So my email marketing has also evolved over time because I've also learned like from other people who are doing it at a higher level, I've learned um, the do's and the don'ts and why you should do certain things. A lot of times it's counterintuitive to how we would normally think. We normally think a certain way but what's actually effective when people, when you send email marketing and even when you do video content on social media is two different things, right? Uh, so I want you guys to understand that what you think is effective and that what actually is effective based off like how humans react to things is two different things a lot of times. Um, one thing that we need to understand right now when you're sending out email marketing is that people are getting emails every single day, right? So let's just establish that right now. People are getting hundreds and hundreds of emails every single day. So when you're getting hundreds and hundreds of emails every day, what becomes important is the strategy in which you send it, the email subject line to get someone to actually open it, right? Because if you send, let's say you created the best email marketing and the best video and all that stuff, but no one ever opens it when you send the email, then it didn't it's going to serve a purpose, but it wasn't really as effective as it could be, right? So when you're sending emails to people, um, open rate is important. And there's some strategies behind how you get people to open emails, right? The other thing to understand is that just because someone doesn't open your email 
and engage with your email does not mean it is not effective. Let me say that one more time. Let's say you sent someone a hundred emails over the course of a year and they only opened two of them. Those 98 that you sent, those were not a waste of time. Because every time that email comes to their inbox, even if they didn't open it, they saw your name. They saw that you sent them something. They saw the title. They saw that it came from Luis Hernandez, PRG, or however he, he puts his, his, his signature there. They may not have opened it because they weren't looking to make a move at that time. It's the same thing with, with uh, any email marketing you get, right? Like I subscribe to a lot of different email marketings. I'll get them all the time, but I never open them until I'm actually ready to buy something, right? Like I'll get them and I'll see them and I'll skip them and I'll delete them. But the minute I need to buy, like, like I've been looking for patio furniture. Let me give you an example. I've been looking for patio furniture. So I go on like wayfair.com because they have a lot of good deals and stuff like that. So I subscribe to their patio furniture. So I get emails every freaking day, right? Like patio furniture, patio furniture, patio furniture. Um, I kind of like put that on hold because I probably want to buy something a little nicer and save up some more money. But when I was looking and I did, I did order a couple of things, like I was getting all these emails and I wasn't opening any of them, but the minute I needed something from my backyard, then I started opening them. And then I started clicking on them and started looking at them. But the hundred thousand freaking other emails that they sent me before that, those just stayed, kept me thinking Wayfair, 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 Wayfair. The minute I wanted to buy something, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Summer sale, patio furniture, click, opened it up, scrolled, bought something. You guys get that, right? So it's the same thing with you guys, when you're sending out emails to clients, you know, tips for buying a home, market update, all these different things, and they're not looking to buy a house or sell a house right now, those other emails, they're still going to see them. They're still going to see them. They're still going to go to their email box. You're still top of mind. They're still seeing, you know, Steve Torres, the mortgage guy, Steve Torres, the mortgage guy, Steve Torres, the mortgage guy. And then when they're like, Hey babe, let's buy a house now. And we're ready to buy a house and start looking. Boom. They're going to open up Steve's Steve's thing because he's been so top of mind with them subconsciously he's been sending the videos and now every video he sends when they're ready to buy they're going to be watching the video they're going to be opening the email they're going to be a lot more engaged so you have to understand that you're just gonna your job is to keep putting it out there keep putting it out there keep putting it out there and when someone is ready they will respond to you right they will respond when they are ready and you want to build that email list and continue to put people in there and someone will act once they're ready. Um, the other thing to understand about email marketing is that email marketing alone is great. Like it, it's effective, but when you, when you multi-layer what you do with your marketing, like you send emails and then you're also on social media and then you're also calling people and texting them to check in on them. And you're also inviting them to an event. And you're also sending them a postcard, right? We're now hitting them from different angles and different mediums. That like takes that email marketing and makes it like a thousand times more powerful. Because there are some people who maybe email is not their thing. Maybe it ends up in their spam. Maybe they don't check their email that often, right? There's some old school people that don't check their email a lot. Us, we're in the business of where well, we're always on email. We're always on email, right? Because that's, that's the nature of our business. But someone who works like as a mechanic that is looking to buy a $1.5 million home, is he on his email all day? No, he's working on cars, bro. All right, so it's, it's one of those things where yeah, maybe once he's ready to transact with you and now he knows he's getting your emails, then he's going to open them. But that postcard you sent and the fact that you called him and he's on social media, right? Because maybe he's like doing uh, IG stories of his cars that he's working on and he sees you on social media, right? And then he gets your postcard in the mail and then you invite him to the day at the park event. And then he also gets a text from you every six months. And then he also gets a call from you every few months, just checking in on him, right? It's like now all those things are building that credibility with him at the same time.
So that's how you like take it to the next level. Um, any questions, guys, throw them in the chat. Just throw questions in the chat and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to the next part of showing you guys some stuff. Do it, bro. Show some stuff. Get it. Okay. Meat and potatoes. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, here's the meat and potatoes now, right? We're going to keep it very, very simple. For an email campaign, you need an email list, right? You need people to send emails to. Where can you get your email list? It should be all the leads that you have, right? You can export leads, you know, from Zillow or from whatever. Get with me to export your leads. If you have, let's say you have 300 leads that you got in your FirePoint and you want to export those, I can work with you to export those and you can upload those into your database, if right? you want to work a certain so part all, right again, like if I wanted yep, to work a certain All your leads. Yep. Yep. All your leads in CRM. Um, you can buy an email list for a specific area, right? I mean, you could take this shit really high level. Like if you want to do just a certain email campaign only for Willow Glen because you're trying to brand yourself in Willow Glen and it's all about Willow Glen and all that stuff and you could do that, right? So you can also target certain neighborhoods. But long story short you can just buy an email list if you want to target a certain area um, all your leads in your crm open house leads right enrique just real um, quick i want to ask can i ask a yeah. quick question you've bought leads yes. before right so again the email yeah. list that you bought is probably a list of real estate agents here in the santa clara county is that something that an example that you've actually executed on Yes. Yeah, so I actually got them. I was able to get them from the title company. Um, and they gave me a list of all the licensed agents in Santa Clara County. And they even were able to break it down for me into production levels. So agents who's, who've only done five or, le or less deals in a year, agents who've done five to 20 deals, agents who've done 20 or more. Uh, and I can send specific marketing to specific agents, right? So you can get really detailed or you can just send it to all of them, right? Uh, do kind of the shotgun effect. I just, I like um, you guys. I but like here's the biggest thing. Real quick, I like this because I want Enrique to show us exactly what he's doing, right? Some people on these on this call has came from that list from this type of marketing. Sorry, Kike, go. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm going to show you um, how I put them together. Um, okay, so you need an email list, right? So all your leads in your CRM. If you think about this now going forward, if you're like, hey, everyone that I come in contact with, I need to put them in my database. I need to just add them to my to my email list. That's why emails are so important, right? Like if you don't get anything, at least get their email. Because when you get their email, you can now start dripping on them, right? And you can go from there. Um, open house leads. Now, here's the thing. When you buy a list, those are complete strangers, right? So there hasn't been no interaction. So the time time it takes to nurture someone might take a little bit longer because you don't have any sort of pre-existing relationship with them. But when these are leads that you've already talked to, then it just, it makes it a lot more powerful, right? The biggest, biggest one is going to be social media. You can download your entire LinkedIn list. You can download your entire Facebook list with emails. I'm not going to show you how, I just want you to Google how to export emails from Facebook and LinkedIn and whatever you got, right? So you could download an email list. I got a couple thousand people on my uh, Facebook. I got a couple thousand people on Instagram. I got a couple, a few thousand people on LinkedIn. I can easily download three, 4,000 people's emails from those two. And now I can use those and upload those all into my uh, software. Why is that important? Because the people who are already following you, these are people who already know you or have some sort of, you know, knowledge of you. Maybe you're not good friends, but they know you or else they wouldn't have added you, right? You guys wouldn't be connected. So just some ideas, right? You need an email list. You got to have an audience to send it to. Next thing you're going to need, guys, is you're going to need a software. So I use Squarespace because I send emails. Our website is built on Squarespace. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend Squarespace. The only reason I use that is because it it's, comes with, with our website software. 
The one that I would highly recommend is MailChimp. MailChimp is just specifically for email content and it's free, right? And then there's paid versions as well, but you can do a lot of damage with the free version. And then if you want to like go a step further and like, you know, make it more complicated, then you can, you could upgrade to the pro version. I think the free version, um, I'm not sure, but you can probably send a couple thousand emails a month, which is the free version. It's all going to be based off how many people you're sending it out to. So I would highly recommend MailChimp um, to get your email marketing going. And there's a ton of videos online. If you just type in how to build an email campaign on MailChimp on YouTube, right? Like I'm on YouTube now. How to send out email blast on MailChimp. Um, I wanna see, I don't know if you can see how many results there are, but you guys get the picture. Like, look, it's, there's unlimited freaking videos on how to do MailChimp, right? They're out there. Super simple, it's plug and play, it's drag and drop, and I'll show you an example of, of what I do. Um, the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need your content, right? So for your content, you need a place to house your content, which would be YouTube. Because the most effective uh, email marketing is going to be video marketing. Now, let me touch on that real quick, because I know when I say video, we're going to lose half the people on here who don't want to do video. Let me ask you this, like if I was sending you a bunch of emails and you were a potential client or someone who wanted to buy down the line or maybe another realtor down the line and all I sent you was just like a bunch of typed up messages and a bunch of graphs and charts, how powerful and how effective do you think that would be at building the credibility and the trust, right? Like we talked about all those things in the chat, right? The knowledgeable, responsive, all those different things, likable, trustworthy, all the things, right? And that's the biggest gripe I have with people is that there are people that I get emails from and all they do is just put a bunch of graphs in an email and they send that to me and they think that I'm just going to jump up and down and do business with them now because they sent me a bunch of graphs, right? Do not be the graph guy. Do not be the infographic guy. You do not want to be known in this business, right? This is reputation, right? Remember, we're talking about building your reputation. You do not want to be known as the graph guy, right? You want to be known as the freaking person that people like, the, pe the person that has all the knowledge, where it comes straight from your mouth, where you get to showcase your personality, all those different things. You do not want to be just known as the guy who just sends a bunch of charts and graphs. That is not what effective email marketing is about. So do not send a bunch of charts and graphs. Yeah, can you maybe like attach something because you're referencing that in your video? Like, hey, I'm talking about this today. And if you want to actually see the graph, I'm attaching it below. That's different, right? But just simply sending you a graph. And I'm going to show you an example of that right now. I got a buddy of mine. He, uh, he worked with us back in the day for a little while. His name's Dev. Who remembers Dev Singh? I'm going to pick on Dev real quick. Dev Singh. Uh, uh, okay. He works with Side. Um, but here's the thing with Side is that Side makes this, these, Side makes this for them, right? Side is, you know, the real estate company or whatever. They make these things for them. Unfortunately, I'm friends with hella people from side from all different freaking teams. And I get the same freaking graph video the messages from all these different people with the same information. So it doesn't do anything, right? You don't stand out at all. So this is what Dev sent me um, July 19th, Silicon Valley newsletter, June, 2022. I just want to show you guys, because this is an example of what not to do. It looks cool. It looks clean. I know side probably put this together for him, but like, I'm just going to scroll down and I want you to put in the chat, like 
What comes to your mind when you, you see this? I'm falling asleep, just scrolling down right now. Yeah, I'm still going. Yeah, I'm still scrolling. This was the email he sent me. Yep, still going. Still, there's still a lot more to go, guys. A lot more to go. Okay, look, I'm going to go faster. Look how many freaking charts and graphs that were on here. <laughs> oh, shit. And Dev's my boy. I'm going to call him and be like, Dev, stop sending me that shit. All right, like, send me a video, bro. Like, I want to see what you're up to. I want to see how you look now, right? Like, too much reading, too much info to read, spam, delete. Uh, it's a scholarly written essay. No time to sit and read this. Who has time to read all that, right? Like, that's the thing. But it looks clean. And I'm sure the information is actually good info. Like, if you really sat down there and read all 17 pages of it, you know, but I don't want to just see a bunch of charts and graphs if I'm a client. Like, that's not doing anything for me, guys. So do not do that. My ADD just kicked in. <laughs> you, you get, Enrique, do you have something to show us what, what is good? Do you have something? Yep. Show us now, I'm gonna show you, yeah. now I'm going to show you what is good. Uh, here's some examples. This is my boy, John Glutch. John Glutch is like a big hitter in freaking uh, EXP. This guy's like a freaking high operator. Like his business is, they sell hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of homes. This guy is like an example of really, really good email marketing. Here's why. And I'm going to break this down. Look at his topic sentence. Remember, we talked about, you got to get people to open your emails. So that means your email subject line has to be compelling. It can't just say market update. It has to have some sort of attention getter, attention grabber to get people to open it up. So his subject line is using a reverse contingency to get your move up buyers off the fence. So to me, I'm like, shit, that I've never heard of that. Like get your buyers off the fence using a reverse contingency. Like I'm going to open that up. I'm going to see what this is all about. He has a little bit of copy. Copy is like, you know, the written stuff, right? I'm going to read it. We all know the pain of having the seller who's ready to list the moment they find the perfect house to move into. In this market, it can be tough to find the perfect home, which makes it hard for sellers to take the risk of listing their home without knowing where they will land after it sells. In this week's post, I discuss how we are using a reverse contingency to solve the problem for both you and your seller. Also, and importantly, since recording this video, I met a lender that will actually solve this problem in an even better way. They will make a cash offer on your seller's house and then allow them as long as they need to find their perfect home up to a, up to a year. Let me know if you'd like an intro, I'll connect you. Then he has the video, then he has his signature. Now, this guy right here, He's big in EXP. He's trying to build and recruit agents. So he's giving agents information that would be useful to their business. And then he's offering to help coach you and give you systems and training and all that stuff. So down here, now these are his calls to action. P.S. When you're ready, here are three ways we can help you right now. Simply call me at this number or reply to this email for access to any of these free services. It's 90 days to double your leads program. Roadmap to hiring your first or next virtual assistant. See what partnering with me at eXp really looks like. So now he gives you three different, four different ways you can get a hold of him and four different offers. An offer to call him, an offer to find out how to double your leads, an offer to um, give you a plan on how to hire your virtual assistant. This guy uses a lot of virtual assistants. And then an offer to partner with him at eXp. And then right here is the video. So when I click on this video, it takes me to his YouTube channel. Uh, let's see. Okay, it takes me to his, he has a page, he has a website, like a website built out with all this content. For you guys at a very basic level, you can just have it take you to the YouTube channel where you have your, your videos stored, right? This is now like, 
higher level if you want to build out a whole page. And you can, you could build out a whole video uh, blog page, right? But now this is where he goes deeper. This is where you can find all his other videos. This is where you can click on his. Hey there, if you've got a uh, seller, who a person who's ready to sell a house, we all love listings in this market, really, really helpful, but they're only gonna sell if they can find a certain kind of house that they want, right? We have those challenging situations where it's like kind of a needle in a haystack or a tough house to find, and the seller really doesn't want to sell unless they can be confident that that house is out there. Well, today I've got a great strategy we're using called the reverse contingency. I want to tell you about to help get those people off the fence and move it. Hey, my name is John Glutch. I'm the team leader of the Glutch Group, and we sell hundreds of houses a year. I've got teams in uh, California and in Arizona. And here's what we're doing to get those people off the fence. So we do a uh, reverse contingency. You probably heard of a contingency. Where okay, I'm not going to go in. I'm not going to play that whole video. Yeah. What did you guys notice about about that? Just give me your observation. When you see that, write it in the chat. What did you notice about how he sent it to me? About the content? Lisa, that's that you pointed out a really, really powerful thing that I'm going to talk about. He went right into the topic, no intros. Save that for the middle. So remember, we talked about getting people to actually watch your stuff and getting people to actually open it. There's a strategy is that you want to have the attention getter or the meat in the beginning of the message, right? So on your email, I'm going to go back to sharing. The email he sent me, the attention getter, this got me to open his email. And when he gets in here, he has a short little story that tells you why it's important, right? It's a short little attention grabber. Right. Then he has the video that you can watch. And when you click on it, now it takes you to his page where now you have all the information. Then in his actual video, do you notice how he did not say, hey, guys, it's John, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm, today, I'm going to talk about this. No, he started off with giving you straight to the point what the topic was going to be. Hey guys, if you have sellers that are on the fence and you're trying to, or buyers that are on the fence that need to sell a house and you're trying to get them off the fence, we're using a strategy called reverse contingency. And I'm going to explain what that is today and why it's powerful for your business. Hey, what's up? I'm John. I'm from the Glutch Group. We sell hundreds of homes. Boom. Let me tell you about this topic, All right? That is a strategy right there. That's a strategy to get people to pay attention because if he would have started off with, hey guys, my name's John. I sell hundreds of homes. We have offices in San Jose. We have offices over here. Like some people might've got lost already. Like no one cares about that, right? They care about what the message is. So even when you're doing your social media marketing and you're doing your videos, you got to come straight with the heat, right? What's up guys? The market is going to crash. Here's why. Let me tell you, right? Like, not like, hey guys, it's Enrique, PRG. Like, that's one thing I changed in my videos. If you look at my videos, they're now, it's like straight to the point. Hey, if you're struggling to close deals today, like these are three things you can do to get more business. Boom, I go right into it, right? right. Before it was like, hey guys, my name's Enrique, PRG real estate broker and team leader. We sell hundreds of homes. Today, I'm going to talk about this. I already lost people right there, right? So to have effective email marketing and video marketing, you have to understand human behavior. If you have too much fluff in the beginning, people will leave. People will stop watching. People will go back and get out of that thing. So when I go back, I'm going to show you another example of one that's really good. Now, now John's, um, John's is really good, but honestly, he's high level, right? Like he's something that maybe you can work your way up to. I'm going to show you just a simple way. This is the one I just sent out uh, for Hervin, right? So uh, I did an agent success spotlight and I used the same exact formula that John and Daniel Beer are using where I try to just keep it super simple. Look at my subject line right here. Seven buyers in contract in June. I purposely wrote it like that, very short and just to the point because I already know that when it comes in someone's email, I need to have something in there that gets someone's attention, right? Seven buyers in contract in June. If there's an agent watching that, they're going to go, oh shit, damn, seven buyers in contract. Boom, let me click on that. Let me see what that's all about. 
versus like, you know, how to close more buyers or something like, like something that's a little bit longer, a little bit more elaborate, right? Like you have to keep it short, simple and to the point. And then even my message, the same formula as John. Herbin put seven buyers in contract in the month of June while many agents are struggling to adapt. In this video, he goes over all his secrets. Boom, click on this. When you click on that, it takes you to my, opportunity. Takes you to my YouTube, to the video on YouTube, right? And then now and there, yeah, now I want someone to watch that video and stuff like that. Um, Daniel Beer. This is like, this is now showing you super, super simple because I want to make it super, super simple for you guys, right? You guys are more going after clients. So something right here, you see his message, systems over goals. That's the subject line, systems over goals. And then look at, he didn't even write much here. Every damn time, short but hard hitting message that gets to the truth. Clarity is power, systems over goals. And then right here, he wants us to join him for a training where he's charging $3,000 for you to attend, right? Nothing fancy, Daniel Beer, Beer Home Team, because the more fluff you put, the, le the more distracted people will get. So he wants someone to just click on that video to see what the message is all about. So I click on that and it takes you to, I don't know, the link broke now. So that's another thing too. Make sure you always test your videos. This was working before. Something must have changed from here to there. Enrique, we um, signed up for this. We, we actually signed up for this, you and I, correct? Yep. So we signed worked. up for one of these uh, coaching. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let's talk about that in the context of going after clients, right? So if you're an agent and you're trying to get, you know, buyers and sellers, what do buyers and sellers want to know? They want to know what's going on with the market, right? Like people always want to know, how's the market? How's the market? How's the market? That's the question you always get. Every time you talk to someone new about real estate, oh yeah, how's the market right now? Oh yeah, how's the market right now? So your videos, like there should be consistent videos just, just about how's the market, right? But now you got to get creative in how you deliver the message so that people actually click and open it up, right? So instead of saying like market update video, you want to talk about an attention grabbing sentence for your subject line of the market right now. So how would you describe the market right now, guys? Um, right in the chat, what would be an email subject line that would get someone's attention that described the market right now short and sweet but if someone saw that they'd be like oh shit let me click on this write that in the chat the market is crashing afraid of market no worries is there opportunity right now Shifting market, how you can be, be prepared as a buyer or seller. Save thousands on a home. Okay, what else? Let's go guys, come on. How would you guys, those loan officers, how would you guys describe the market in terms of the, the loan programs or the rates if you were sending this to clients or to other realtors? Like what, what would you say right now is the hot opportunity or like what someone should know in a subject line? So here's the thing, right? There's going to be some keys to writing a good subject line. Um, something that starts with how to, how to do this, why you should do this. Um, did you know this, right? Like those are all like ways. I have them written down here. The secret to this. Three tips for this. Want to know how to do this, right? Those are all like little phrases that you can use to, to create effective subject lines. And I bet you if you Googled online, like 
email subject line creator, there's a there's a app for that, right? But did it has anybody got their uh, buyers a really good deal? Unmute yourself if you did. Anybody recently got their buyers a really really good deal on a property? Mauricio, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was the deal? Like, what? Why was it a good deal? Sellers. Sellers wanted, like, the reason they wanted two seven. Um, but the the house stayed on the market, and they're like, if you guys can do two five, it would be really really good. Um, I talked to the buyer, and he's like, landed at two three. So I offered them two two, and we went back and forth. I tried keeping it at two two, but we ended up landing at two three. Okay, so so two three, and they wanted two seven. That's four hundred thousand dollar difference. Where are the comps at? Uh, it appraised comps. I think like the the most recent comp was like two five two six. Okay, so it's safe to say they got that property for at least three hundred grand less. Oh yeah. So sure. wouldn't that be a powerful subject line? Wouldn't that be a powerful subject line? I saved my client 300 K dot, dot, dot. Think about that. Right. And you sent that out to all your buyer leads. And then, and you talked about in the video, how you saved them 300 grand and where the opportunity is in the market and all that good stuff. But do you think people would open that shit? Like if you, if the subject line was, I saved my client 300 grand, 300 K dot, dot, dot. Like, yeah. And you sent that to all your list of clients, right? People are going to open that and they're going to want to see like how you did that. So when you guys are creating subject lines or when you're, or when you're creating attention getters, think of it as clickbait, right? Does everyone know what clickbait means? Right? Clickbait is when they come up with like a catchy phrase or something to get you to click on it and then you open it at something else. Same thing. Bait. The market is crashing, right? That's, I mean, a lot of people are saying that. So you may, how to fix marketing in five minutes. That's good. I, I like that, right? That's creative because then it's going to spark curiosity, right? So the short and like the simpler and to the point of your email subject line and how you start off the, uh, the, the video as well is very important, right? So like, for Mauricio's point, like how I save my client 300K would be the subject line. Then you go, you click on the email and then maybe there's a short, I just saved my client 300,000 on this home. Um, most recent sale was 2.6 million. We got it for 2.3 million. Let me explain how we did that and where the opportunity is. Then in this video, hey guys, I just saved my client $300,000 on this home. Homes down the street were selling for 2.6 million. We got it for 2.3. I'm going to talk about how we did that today and why there's a great opportunity to buy today. What's up, guys? This is Mauricio, uh, EXP Realty PRG. Um, I want to explain what the opportunity is today in the market. I just helped this client, blah, blah, blah. If you're looking, and then you go into detail, and then, hey, if you're looking to buy or you want to know how you can get a deal like this, make sure you reach out to me. We can set up a time to chat. Boom. Right? Like, I just did the video right there. And you can, you can maybe throw in the stats, right? So I, I want to get you guys thinking, like, how am I going to create these videos? But you want to have a compelling message every single time you send that out or every single time you put out social media content as well. You've got to get people's attention. So back to the formula. Um, you're going to record that video. You're going to put that on YouTube because on YouTube, YouTube will host it there for you. So you got to create your own YouTube channel, right? And all your videos are going to go on YouTube. That's going to serve two purposes. You now have a YouTube channel so people can find you on YouTube if they're searching for realtors in the Bay Area. Now that content from YouTube, you now use that in your marketing, you drive the traffic back to YouTube. And I'm going to show you exactly what I do in Squarespace. So here's Squarespace. This is what I use. I'm going to show you the last one that we did for uh, Hervin. I sent it out to 2,000 people. A um, couple emails bounced back. So it went to 1,985. 781 people opened that video. 
seven people clicked on one of the links in the video. So now I can look at that. And this, you could do this in MailChimp. MailChimp will tell you who clicked on what, who unsubscribed, all that good stuff as well. Um, I can see who opened it. It's gonna give me the whole list of all the emails who opened them, right? Cause I'm marketing to agents. I can see who unsubscribed. All right, this guy unsubscribed. Remind me not to say what's up to you at the next event. And then I can see who clicked on it. <laughs> right? And who's watching my videos. I'm going to show you what the actual email template looks like. So if I want to do a blast. Super easy to create. Basically, all you do here is just write your little intro here. Um, there's an image here. For some reason, it's not displaying on my computer. I think something's up with this, but let me see if it'll load, load image. But basically what I do is I put the image that I created for that video, this image here. So I created this image in Canva. You can easily just do a screenshot of your video. Um, and Anytime you upload a video to YouTube, it's gonna give you like that thumbnail image. You can do a screenshot of that and just drag and drop it. Um, I'd put that here. And then what you do is I link that image to the video on YouTube. So when someone clicks on that, it takes them to the YouTube video. I put my message in here. And then what I'm looking for is to add agents interested in adding Zillow flex leads, high level coaching and training, proven systems to your business, book a confidential discovery call with me. And then there's a link right here that they click on and it takes them to my Calendly link. And then I have, and this is a template you can create. You just create the template and then every single time you wanna do a new video, you just duplicate it and then just edit the template. Super easy. And then what you get is you get this. I fill in my subject line. I have my message. I have the video that's linked to my YouTube where the video is, will actually play. I have a little call to action because I'm trying to get you know agents who are interested in joining our team or joining us at EXP. I have this little button, which is a call to action. For you guys, it could be book a consultation with me, book a home buying or home selling strategy with me right? And you click on this and it takes you to your calendar or your Calendly link. Or you could even just put in here, reply to this message or call me directly at this number, reply to this email or call me directly. So for me, when people click on this, it takes them to my Calendly. And then now they can book a time with me to meet with me. So I'll show you ones that I've sent out to clients as well, because this I'm showing you stuff. Because I also send stuff out to clients, right? Like on behalf of our team and stuff like that. So let me see. So here's my email campaign. So I'll show you the last market update video I sent out. Um, the last one I sent out was inviting them to day at the park, the same thing. So I'll show you that one. So you're invited, you see the subject line. There's an, there will be an image here. Let me see if it'll preview. Right here in the middle, this is the image. It's this, the flyer for day at the park. It just says you're invited RSVP now. So when they click on this, it takes them to the invite page. I, I put it twice so people don't miss it. You guys, you would put your video right here with your message, right? I just saved my client 300K. Click this video to find out how. In the video, you go over 
how you save the money, what the opportunity is, and you invite them to book a time with you to talk about buying a home, selling a home. You could put a link here if you want to link it to something. Same thing. Um, let's see. Here's one I sent out in May. Best strategy to buy and sell at the same time. This was my subject line. Um, let me see. I'm going to show you what that video looked like so you guys can see how it looked. Um, so this is the video that I sent out. And this was going out to clients, right? So you see the email subject line, best strategy to buy and sell at the same time. This is the email they got. It had an image. They can click on this. When they click on it, it's going to take them to YouTube. I think the link working, but it'll take them to my YouTube where the video will play. Simple message, buying a new home while trying to sell your current home can be extremely difficult and messy without the right strategy. Watch this video as Enrique shares the best strategies that'll help you save time, money, and stress. Have questions about buying or selling? Feel free to respond to this email or give us a call at this number and a member from our team will assist you. Then I have two links here. You can search for homes or you can get a home evaluation. So if they click on one of these links, it'll take them to like a home search page or it'll take them to a home evaluation page. Um, we're coming up, we're, we're up on time guys, but just real quick, let's spend five minutes. What questions do you guys have about any of this stuff? Enrique, what, any what's questions like, in the chat? Yeah, cool. yeah. A quick question. So what's the time frame for you to produce and kind of send one of these out? How much time can someone expect to spend on something like this? Um, in the beginning, it's going to take you longer because you're still, you'll still be trying to figure out how to mess with the software. Um, but like for me, because I have the template already built out, I can literally half an hour. Yeah. I literally can record the video with my phone, right? A two- you know, I, the videos are short. They're two minutes, three minutes tops because I'm not, that's the thing, right? Is you're not trying to like convince someone to sell and like give them the world's best highly produced video, right? It's the consistent sending of marketing, right? Like I talked about Wayfair. They send me stuff every freaking day, every month, every day. And then when I'm ready, I click, right? It's the consistency that is key. So as long as the message is short and sweet and to the point, even if you saw with John Glutch or with Daniel Beer, their, their videos are only two to three minutes tops. And it's one topic every video. And that's the thing too, is you want to keep every video just to a short and simple topic, right? You're not trying to give them a movie. You're trying to just give them one topic. The next video, it'll be another topic, right? So think of it as like, because if you try to give them everything in one like long ass video, no one's going to watch that whole video and no one's going to convert off one video, right? It's something where you want to milk it, right? So that's a mistake a lot of people make too when they're doing videos. Like they'll do like the five steps to buying a home or the 10 steps to buying a home. Those are too many steps. Like pick one step, pick one and go, you know, explain that one thoroughly. And then like next week, do another one. And then next week, do another one. So now you have, instead of having one video with, five or 10 steps. Now you got five or 10 videos that you can make out of all that. You see what I mean? It's the same thing with this. So, um, I would be sending out two videos a month to my database. Um, every two weeks I'd send them a video because two weeks is a good enough top of mind, but it's not too much where you annoy people, right? Once a month, bare minimum, bare minimum is once a month. But twice a month, sometimes they may not open them. Sometimes they're just going to see who you are. And then, like I said, they're going to click when they're ready. So two a month is kind of the, the sweet spot. How do we get the same format, design, template, black and turquoise? Does DJ help us with that? Yeah, DJ can help you with that. So if you want to book a time with DJ to help 
let's say you have like, you sign up for MailChimp and you want DJ to build the template for you. This way, all you got to do is um, duplicate it. Book a time with DJ and he'll build it out for you. Um, right? Or I can even do another class where we just spend the whole class building out our templates. I can do that as well. The main thing is just once you know the template and you have it there, it's just coming up with the content, right? Just recording the videos, put it on YouTube, making it all connect, typing up the new subject line, typing up the whatever. Short and simple is going to be the best way. Um, Zahara is working on hers. Super easy on MailChimp to create on your own. Like if you don't want to wait for DJ, it's honestly, she's working on hers right now. That's one of the things that we're trying to implement in her business. Um, and it, it's, it's coming out really good and it's really easy. Remember guys, it's not how dope your, your message looks or how like cool the, the graphics look and all that. It's how consistent you are in just delivering a good message to people, right? You can also do this from FirePoint too. There's a way to do it from FirePoint. And I can show you how to do that. It's the same exact concept. There's just the email template and all you got to do is record the video put it on YouTube and then link it to YouTube in your FirePoint email, right? Um, and there's already a template built out. Make it look dope though, LOL. And that's the thing, right? Like that's where your branding and stuff comes in. But here's the thing is my first videos that I sent out, they weren't dope. They didn't look that cool. They were real simple. And then over time, you know, I made them look better and better. So if you're the type of person that knows how to do like graphics and stuff like that, or, or you pay someone on Fiverr, Fiverr is, I think uh, Zahara used Fiverr really cheap and they, they created a template and everything for her. Um, then you can do that, right? Like, but if you're like, Hey, I just want to get something out. Remember your dopest video that takes you six months to put, put out, like in that six months, I already sent out freaking 20 videos that maybe didn't look as dope, but mine were more effective because that message was driving home with the client or with the agent I'm trying to convince or whoever it is I'm trying to work with, right? So don't spend so much time trying to come up with the nicest looking video that you just don't put any videos out. The best video to put out or the best email campaign to put out is the one that you actually put out today. That's the best one. And then just make it better and better over time tweak it um any other questions guys before i jump off enrique you're gonna put uh, that document in the chat right or in the slack this document will be in slack with the bullet points uh, remember this video right this recording is going to be on the youtube channel as well right so if you want to go back and watch this again because we i know we covered a lot of stuff right and i don't expect you to master this in one one hour training, go back and watch these recordings, you know, because they're going to be like, okay, I forgot about that. And here's the thing. My challenge to all of you, right. Is to understand why you need to build your brand and start building your brand today and start nurturing that database. Number two is if you start working on this, I'll help you. Right. Tara, if you're like, Hey, Enrique, come check out my template. Can you give me some pointers? I'm working on my template. Book a time with me. I'll sit down with you and I'll go through it with you and help help you refine it and put it together. But I need you guys to take action and go sign up for MailChimp and sign up for YouTube, create your accounts and start working on it and then bring me in and I'll help you put the pieces of the puzzle together, right? Or we'll create a little workshop where we all come together on a, in a workshop and we do that because that's the way we'll be able to get this done the fastest, um, right? I can't do it for you. That's the, that's the thing. And you don't want me to do it for you because if I do it for you, then you're always going to need me, right? We're teaching you how to fish, right? We're not teaching you how, we're not just going to give you fish. We're going to teach you how to go out there and fish for yourself. That's the main thing. That's how you build your business. That's how you build your brand, right? But we will support you along the way. and We'll provide you the tools and the resources and all that stuff and the coaching to make sure it, you know, it, it works and it's effective. All right, guys. Hope you guys got some value today. I'm really, really, really looking forward to seeing who steps it up and starts coming up with some email marketing. And I know me and Zahara are working on this, like just to give, give you an idea. Um, her and I actually have to call her today. I have a once a week accountability with Zahara. And she's like, by next week, I want to do, I want to have my email thing ready. I want to have my email list ready. Like she's giving me like 
by next week, I have these three things I got to get done. I want you to hold me accountable. And then I just do a quick check-in. Hey, where are you at? Did you do those three things you talked about last week? Right. And that's how we're pushing the needle forward. And like her, her stuff's already going to be up and running within a week. And then now it's just, just the templates already built. Now she just records videos, puts them out, and that's going to help her build her brand with, you know, with all her database. Um, so let me know guys, stay in touch. Hope you guys got some value today. Let's get it.